Dude, that is a fucking kick-ass shirt. Where did you get that? Uh, I think I got the same place you got yours. That's all. Where would you get yours? Cafepress.com slash T-R-I-S-I-O-T-R. Yeah. What's up, people? How's it going? The, you know, the craziness can only mean one thing. We're back with another delightful episode of That's Why I Said It on the Record. And I'm straight. He's Three Ball Josh. And he's Carlos Octavia. Yeah! What up? Alright, so, um... On September 11th, we posted a video about how 9-11 conspiracies are, in fact, bullshit. And it is... We've gotten a lot of feedback from that. Some good, some kind of hateful. And uh, that's pretty much what we're about today. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little warning. This video, video will contain adult harsh language and, you know, like the word fuck. And um, it will contain suggestions on how to kill yourself, you know. So, I mean, if you are if you don't like profanity or if you're violence. Not, if you're not an advocate for suicide. Yeah, you might want to go ahead and turn off the video. For the rest of you that are still around, enjoy. Yes. And, uh... Three podcasts for there. Yeah, that's it. We rarely ever do video responses, and we even usually don't even do video responses on ourselves. But that is essentially what this is. You know, uh, the not another video was by far and away the best try Trish Yoga we did. You know, it got the most views. It got definitely got the most comments, and uh, we felt like you know instead of just writing the stuff that we wrote to them, we had to personally address some of the better hate mail that we received. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and get started, Joe. Yeah, let's do that. Taint Muncher for Life says, Army Strong? More like Army Drunk and Stupid. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I think I got this one. Hold on. You know, I think I got you, Taint Muncher. You're trying to say, you know, you're trying to use the Army, Army Strong ad campaign to try to make something witty and catchy. Holy, okay. You almost put that one by me. I got you. Wow, you know, I mean, I'm glad you caught that because I never would have. Um, I would like to go ahead and say congratulations on staying up all night to think of something that were goddamn ridiculous. And I would kindly appreciate it if you were stop stealing my oxygen. Thanks for watching. All right. Uh, moving on, we got, uh, well, I don't know which one to use first. Okay, uh, Double Buck 31. Ah, uh, yes. He says, uh, you guys are morons who should be denied the right to use a brain until you learn how one should be used. If you think that the planning for 9-11 started after W's election, it's clear that you don't have the mental capacity to understand that the planning started before the World Trade Center was even built or before Bushy was born. Dot, dot, dot. So we're talking... This start, they, they built that shit in what? Six, they started in the 60s? 1966, yeah. 66? Yeah. See, 2001, that's a long damn time ago. But uh, I think that wasn't quite before Bush was born. So you're telling me in 1966, or even before that, maybe in 65 or 64, they were planning a way to build a couple of buildings and then on September 11, 2001, have some Arabs fly planes into it and blow it up. I was unaware that uh, Osama bin Laden, uh, in addition to being, you know, Al Qaeda leader, had a, uh, a DeLorean that can go 88 miles an hour and travel back in time with a flux capacitor. Um, Dumb Fuck 31, my response to you is please, 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 give a blowjob to an RPG. Just blow your own head off or something. Else. Absolutely. Yeah. Dick Douche says, stupid fucking hillbilly retards. 9-11 TV fakery is a discover, not a theory fucker. I'm not sure what a theory fucker is, but um, then he tries to tell us to watch some uh, Blues Clues or some shit. I don't know, but I think this might be the first time, people, that you've ever heard a black guy being referred to as a stupid fucking hillbilly retard. Dude, Cletus would be pissed. Cletus would be pissed. Yes. You're lucky he ain't here, uh, Mr. Dick Douche, because he didn't, he'd tell you a new asshole. Yeah. Speaking of assholes, I would kindly ask that you sew your asshole shut and then eat a whole case of elephant laxatives. Thanks for your reply. All right. In breath forever, he writes, Military personnel are usually the easiest to brainwash. That is why you join the military. Sorry, but the truth hurts. You know what else hurts? In breath forever... Take a deep breath underwater, which I strongly suggest you do right now. <gasps> Please. Oh, my God. 
anybody who has the audacity to say shit like that to the men and women who, you know, fight for this country, if you don't kill yourself, give, if you can't do it, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Yes. Or you can actually, you know, I'll pay for a ticket for you to go to Iraq, and you can say that in the middle of a uh, formation of infantry soldiers. See how yeah, that, there you go. That, that might get you. Fucking Fred Filth cock smoking some bitch. Moving on. Oh yes, um, Tank Muncher for Life says, try doing some research before you blindly follow your government. Okay, I may regret it, but you asked for it. Watch the following blah blah blah. Uh, let's see here. Here's where it gets funny. Tell me how an aluminum-nosed passenger airliner can go through two sides of a still building and remain intact and then vaporize in mid-air. Two words, three ball, inside job. Two words, dipshit, kill yourself. Alright, this is, I mean, it's... Well said. <laughs> And, all right, I'm going to go ahead and actually give our response to this one because if we're talking about kinetic energy, all right? You're talking about oh, an aluminum plane going through a still side of the... It's not like we're talking about throwing a fucking soda can at the doors to the vault at Fort Knox or something like that. It's called kinetic fucking energy. You got that much, you know, that that's a lot of goddamn aluminum traveling at a very high speed. All right, it's just like, you know, if you watch... You know, shit for uh, tornadoes and hurricanes, you got the little uh, pine needle stuff stuck in the side of brick buildings and trees and stuff like that. Same damn thing. Why don't you take a lesson from Steve Irwin and go swim with some stingrays? Dude, not cool. <laughs> Actually, was <well, that's> pretty cool. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was fucked up. <laughs> Duke's Nozzle 07 writes, Hmm, you guys. That's always sounds kind of gay. Hmm, you guys. Um, your stupidity makes me shiver, no joke. Before you go and make a video saying conspiracies are BS, get and understand common sense. And sense is spelled S-E-N-C-E. -E. Well, if you're going to go ahead and make fun of people, you know, talk about the, you know, the intelligence of others and, qu and question how smart other people are, learn to fucking spell, you dumb bastard. It gets better. He, he uh, actually has another thing, and, and he uh, refers to, hey, you motherfucking losers. You're saying the makers of Moose Chains would have been killed by now if it had been true. Hmm. Don't you sort of think if they were to get killed, it would make it no obvious that the video was true? Your fucking stupidity worries me. Seriously. Ellipsis. Fuck. Ellipsis. Don't you think that, you know, the government would have been able to kill these fuckers and shut the whole thing down before the video was ever completed? Hey, I happen to work with the government. I might put a recommendation in for them to come and get you. Because you're definitely one that needs to just expire. Like me. <laughs> Bestiality fan writes, N I The NIST has publicly admitted they can't explain collapse of towers. They missed a word in there. In fact, the collapse has never been investigated. Only the initiation of the collapse was looked at. Your, uh, your arguments are, in capital letters, bullshit. Who the fuck said Bush did it? For all you know, he used the number four because he's hip like that. For all you know, it could have been prepared years ago. No detonators. I'm, I'm guessing that's supposed to be detonator caps, etc. Found in rubble. HT, how the fuck do you know two drunken douchebags? Well, <laughs> I'm just like reading this and I'm laughing my ass off. First of all, you know, as far as, you know, who the fuck said Bush did it, uh, fucking most of the goddamn people who say that, you know, there's a conspiracy behind it. Most of the conspirators are saying that it was Bush and Cheney behind the whole damn thing. Go stick your dick in a toaster. My God. You got anything else? On the record, plain and simple, kill yourselves. And for all of you people who want to keep talking shit about us and questioning our intelligence and making stupid typos like that, here's what you do. You go into the bathroom, grab your toothbrush, slap some Colgate on there, brush them pretty whites, make them sparkle, get a mouth full of uh, Listerine, garter that, spit it down the sink, and then munch my fucking tanks. If you can smell what three ball and Carlos is cooking. That's right, I said it.